Everyone is a mathematician, especially when you have the flexibility of answering questions in any way that you know how. Okay? We're going to get started. We're going to do a warm up. If you remember, we always do a warm up first. Okay? Here is the question Do not say anything. Do not say anything, not a word. Don't even say, oh, I know what the answer is. Don't say anything. If you do, that's fine. Here's what you could do to show me that you know what the answer is. When you have the answer, you're going to put a thumbs up on your chest like this. That tells me that you have, you have the answer, or you think you know the answer, but you're not going to say anything. Here we go. Which fraction model best represents 3 times 1 third? So look at them and try to analyze which one of these represents 3 times 1 third. Good. I see about 5 people who have an answer. If you don't yet, that's fine. Just look at every choice and see if that would match that model. Three, I mean that uh that fraction. Three times one third. When I count to three, you are going to the turn to the person who is right next to you, and if somebody is left out, please include them. Okay? And you're going to let them know which letter do you think, which model represents three and one third, and why. Don't just tell them, oh, I think it's D. You have to say, why do you think it's D? Explain to them. And listen to your partner, because they might have a different answer. Okay, ready? One, two, three, share. Okay. like to share out what which model they think represents three and one third. What's your name back there? Daniel. Daniel. Which one do you uh, think? Me and the person next to me had the same answer and we thought it was B. The reason I think it's B is because when it said three times one third, there's one of the thirds colored in three uh, three circles in B and one is shaded in and there's three of them. So that one third is that, and also there's three of them. Ah, did you hear what he said? Who can uh, rephrase what he said in a different way, perhaps? Uh, Nathan, right? Nathan? Yeah. Um, it's not, it's not the same way, but um, I think it's because there's three of them. Two out of what shade? Two, so these are two thirds, right? Two thirds. Okay. Okay. Um, raise your hand if you agree with both Daniel and Nathan that it would be B. Okay. Raise your hand if you disagree. If you think it's a different one. Ladies over here, you, you thought it was it was D, right? Why did you think it was B? Huh? B. Oh, okay. And you said D. B. Okay. Okay. Who can tell me? Listen to this question. Okay. If we had to write uh, a number sentence for A, what would it be? So just to let you know, you're correct. Those of you that chose B, this is, we have three circles, right? So this is your three. And how many are shaded in each one? One out of three. One out of three. One out of three. Right? So this is three times one third. What's another way? that I could have written three times one third if I didn't want to do it uh, multiplication. Yes? One third plus one third plus one third. Excellent, thank you. I'll write that here. Equals one third plus one third plus one third. That's another way. Okay, very good. What would be one way to represent this model right here? Think about it for a second. What would be one way to represent this model right here? Turn and tell the person you were talking to so well. How would you do that?
Repeat again, the first four, where do you get the four? You said four times two fourths, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you get this four from? You get that four because there's four circles. Very good, four whole circles, right? Okay. And you get the two fourths because there's two four shaded in each circle. Very good, because there's two four shaded in each one. What's another way I could have written this? Yes, Ben? Um, two, two fourths to two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths. Two fourths. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else, how else can I represent two fourths? Is there another way I can represent two fourths? In other words, what's an equivalent fraction to two fourths? Yes, Julia? One half. One half. How did you know that? Because two fourths is a half a fourth. Because two is half a fourth. Right? Very good. So you could say this, you could call this uh, four times a half. That would be the same thing. Right? Or you could have also said uh, two fourths plus, plus two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths. Or I could have also said half plus a half plus a half plus a half, right? Okay. Turn to your partner and tell them what uh, what, what would you write to represent this model right here. Turn to your partner. And tell them. <laughs> and waterfall, waterfall. Shh. When I count to three, whisper, whisper the number sentences that you would use to represent C. Ready? One. Three times one half, very good. Three, because there's three of them, times one half is shaded on each one, so this is three times one half. Very good. Now for the last one, go ahead. One more time, tell your partner. What would you write to represent the? Raise your hand. Actually, I'm gonna call someone. Kaden, what would you write to represent this one? Two third times four? Could it be written like this, boys and girls? Two thirds times four? No. 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 Four. What's the yes. difference between four times two thirds? Can you do that? I can do that. It's the same thing. You'll get the same thing. So you can say two thirds times four because it's four times. Or you can say four times two thirds. You'll still get the same answer. Okay? Say it again. Yes, very good. Can you repeat that? Commutative property. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent job with this voice and girls. We're going to take a look at today's word problem. I'm going to help you unpack it using the cubes method. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, can I get one volunteer to read this out loud first, please? Yes. Fill five glasses of Good, now we're gonna all read it together. Okay, ready? On the count of three, we're gonna start. One, two, three. Nathan filled five glasses with two-thirds liter of soda in each glass. How much soda did Nathan use? Let's start off with our cube strategy. C U D E S. C, what does the C stand for? Uh, yes. What am I gonna circle? Very Five and two thirds. Thank you. So we're done with C. U. What does U stand for? Yes. Underline. underline. What do we underline? The question. Very good. In this case, can you all read the question for me? How much soda did Nathan use? How much soda did Nathan use? That is the question. Good. B. What does B stand for? Box. Box. Can you tell me what's a box? What do I need to box? Uh, so you're saying each, okay, that's sort of like action words. Um, I can see maybe perhaps how that could be an action word, but is there another word here that is more of an action word? Yes? Filled. Filled. That shows action, right? Okay, so filled. Okay, any other action words? Yes? Maybe how much because it's showing us that we need an exact answer. Okay, I, I can see how that logic can bring you to box that one in. Okay, very good. E, what does E stand for, Michaela? In this case, and some questions will have useless information, some won't. So don't feel like you always have to eliminate something because you might eliminate something that you need. It's only, you kind of feel it when you read it, you're like, 
All right? It's for example, if I would have said something like, Nathan filled five glasses with two thirds liter of soda in each glass. Nathan also likes to play his Nintendo Switch. How much soda did Nathan use? Right? You would know that the Nintendo Switch part there had nothing to do with it and you could eliminate that. Do you see any uh, excess no. information here? Um, yeah, it could be like soda because what if it's like fish Okay, I mean, I guess that could be something that it could be water, it could be juice. But let's, I mean, let's leave it because that's not as, you know, we don't have to eliminate that. Yes? Yeah, but we don't want to get super technical, right? Because then you're going to say that we can eliminate of or we can, but let's not get technical. It's only like sentences that you don't really need in there, okay? So let's just leave that one alone. And what does the S stand for? Saw. Saw, okay? So now, this is the part where I'm going to cover it. I'm going to give you your paper, and I want you to solve it any way that you know how. You're going to be going to the tables. The first thing you're gonna do when you get to your table is you are going to first do the cubes on your word problem, okay? Do the cubes, and then go ahead and start solving. I'll walk around checking for cool strategies that could be shared so that we can all learn together, okay? First thing you're gonna do is you use the cube strategy to unpack it, because I, I want you to show me proof of that, doing basically what we just did. And then you're going to solve the problem any way you know how. If it's drawing, perfect. Whatever you want to do. Remember, this one here says share our ideas using pictures, words, tallies, tools, etc. At first, I don't want you to share with each other. You're going to be really close to other people. Some of you might be right in front. I still don't want you to share yet. I'll tell you when you're going to share. Okay? Don't start sharing until I tell you to share. It's just a smaller version. Um, you're going to show all your work. Then you're gonna have a place for, the solution means answer, so you can just give me the answer. Number sentence is writing something like this, and an explanation. First I did this, next I did that, finally I did whatever you did, okay? All right, uh, I'm gonna dismiss a row at a time, and you get to choose where you're going to sit. Choose wisely, choose wisely. You guys are fifth graders, you know, I know you're responsible, so please choose wisely. Except for the two students that are going to share. I'm only going to have two students share today. That's going to be Fernando and Mighty. Because most of your work is represented with their work. Okay? So most of your work is already going to be represented. So you don't come with anything in your hands so you don't get distracted. This is the most important part of this lesson. You get to see other people's strategies. Okay? So um, everyone come to the rug quietly. Don't bring anything except those two students bring your papers with you. You all did a fantastic job. You guys were all on task, doing a great job trying different things, which is exactly what math is all about. If something doesn't work at the beginning, erase and try it again, okay? And that's exactly what a lot of you were doing. Excellent job. So first, I'm going to ask Fernando to come up, and then Miley will sh uh, share hers. Okay, a lot of you did it the way Fernando did, which I think is great, but we're gonna discuss a little bit more. Go ahead, Fernando, and tell me um, step by step, what you did. Let me write your name up here first so we know this is your work. This is Fernando. All right, what was the first thing you did? Well, it says Nathan filled five glasses with two thirds of a liter of soda in each glass. How much soda did Nathan use? Okay, what was your first step? Your first step is that you five cups. Okay, raise your hand if you do, did that as well. You drew five cups as your first step. A lot of you did, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw mine like this. They don't have to be exactly like yours. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, then what did you do? I put two-thirds in each cup. How did you do two-thirds? Did you actually just write two-thirds or did you cut them in thirds? Can I see real quick? So he just wrote, okay, two-thirds inside of each cup. So he said uh, two-thirds. Two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, two thirds. Okay. Why did you decide to do it that way? Because it'll just be easier than cutting them up. It'll take longer. Oh, 
Okay, so he, he said, I know what two thirds look like. Um, and it'll take longer if I cut them and shave, so I'll just write two thirds. So he took a little shortcut there. Okay, go ahead. And then what did you do? And then, uh, since this is just the image in, I just multiplied five times two. Where did you get the five from again? Because there's five cuts. Five cuts. So you did five times two thirds. Is that what you did? Five times two thirds. So this kind of goes back to what we were doing over here, remember? Sort of? Okay. And what did you get? How did you solve this? So you just said five times two equals 10, and then you just put the three. So if you multiply five times two and got 10, why did you do five times three and got 15? What do you think? What questions might you have for Fernando? Are there any questions or any connections? Go ahead and call me. It's kind of like um, D. You know? Like D. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Right. One, two, three, four. Except these were four. Yeah. And then two thirds. Yeah, exactly. It's just the, the whole number changes, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, so real quick. So if we were to continue and get an answer, can you scoot over? And get an answer for D, not only to switch from one, but since you brought it up, what would our answer be for this one if we were to continue it? Eight thirds. Okay, just double checking. All right, okay, okay. Does anybody know what type of fraction this is? When you have your numerator larger than your denominator. Very good. What is an improper fraction? What is it? It in a, I just kind of said it, but can you say it in your own terms? <laughs> fraction that's improper. Okay, yeah, you got me there. All right, we'll take a look, a closer look at improper fractions in a second. Any other questions for Fernando? Does somebody not see how he got ten thirds? No. Excellent. Let's give him quiet, quiet claps, quiet claps like this, quiet claps. Excellent. Okay. All right. So we'll leave that one like that. We'll come back to it in a second. Now let's uh, have Miley come up. Check this one out. This one might blow your mind. Okay, this one might blow your mind if you did it the way Fernando did it. This next one might blow your mind. Okay, so my M-A-Y-L-L-Y, right? M-A-Y-L-L-Y. All right, here we go. First step, what did you do? First I drew the five cups. Five cups. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, what did you draw? Five cups? Uh, okay, go ahead. Then? And then I, like Fernando did, but I didn't write the uh, two and three. I actually uh, split them up so it can be easier to So, okay, so some people could do it like this. Some people will actually have to see it split up into thirds. Miley wanted to see hers split up into thirds, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm actually a visual person as well, so I, a lot of times when I'm dealing with fractions, I need to visualize it like that as, as well. Okay, so now you have them in thirds. Now what did you do? I shaded two, um, what? Two what, what are these called? Two thirds. Two thirds, because they're in thirds, right? So you shaded in two in each one, right? Because the question says, uh, they can fill five glasses with two thirds of liter of soda in each one. So here's two thirds for this one, 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 two thirds for this one. Two thirds liter, right? Then what did you do? Then, Check this out. Check this. This is the part that I want you to see. Then um, I found out. Well, I have um, already shaded. Then in the end, I couldn't um, shade them all because I didn't want to waste time. So I got one. Look what she did. She took a third from one of the cups and put it in here, right? And that gave her one full liter because three thirds is one full liter, right? Do you see what I'm saying? Yes? She took one liter, one, one third, I'm sorry, not one liter, one third of a liter from this one, poured it into this cup, and now she has one whole, right? Okay. Then what did you do? Then I put these two over here. <coughs> and then I put these two over here. 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 Then I
Would you mind if I move this one over here instead, to because just so that it could be easier for them to see? She had one, one third here, so she moved this one, she poured it over here, right? Now, this cup is filled, now she has another hole, right, another hole, and this one went away because she poured everything out. One liter, one third went over here, another third went over here, so this one's gone. Then what did you do over here? And then I got one of these. Okay, then she got one third from this cup, poured it here, right? Got her third liter, okay? That's another hole, so we have three holes, right? And what did you do with this? So I found out that you can do anything with that, so they got uh, three, one, 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 one third. One third, yeah, this is just one third remainder. So in total, because the question is asking, how much soda did Nathan use? Well, two thirds, when you put it all together, right, kind of like what Fernando did, um, if you pour it all together, you get one, two, three holes, and one third of another liter. Three holes and one third. Now, these two answers are correct. Who can tell me why? Wait, wait, before we do that, before we do that. Any questions from Mike? No. no? Is it pretty pretty clear how she did that? Yeah. Right? Is it, it? Yes. What questions might you have? Uh, I know how she got it right. You, 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 you get what she did, right? Because she was looking to fill each cup, because she knew that if she filled each cup, that would be one liter, because it says two-thirds of a liter. So that means that three out of three would be one whole liter. So she did that. Three out of three was one. So she was playing with the cups and the contents inside. Yes. Okay, that's your opinion. She she thinks that this one is more clear than Fernando's, but I'm telling you both are correct. There's one that's preferred. Teachers prefer one over the other, but they're both correct. Yes. You didn't get what? You didn't get your mind blown? No? Okay. But do you understand it? Okay, that's then. For me, you got your mind blown. <laughs> All right. Who can tell me the relationship between 10 thirds and 3 and 1 third? Let's see. Yes, Jasmine. If you still have 10 and 3 thirds, you still get the same answer because you should have got it because you have 3 and 1 third. Say it one more time. How do you get 3 and 1 third out of this? see what you're saying but isn't it true boys and girls that 10 divided by 3 is like saying it's like saying 10 isn't it true that 10 thirds is the same as saying 10 divided by 3 yeah would you agree anytime you have a fraction that's division you're dividing right so check out what happens if I actually do 10 divided by 3 how many times does 3 go into 10? Uh, three. No, 3 times. 3 times, right? 3, 6, 9. Right? We can't go 12 because that's too big. So that's 3, right? That's 3 times. How many are left over? One. 1. 1 what? We're talking about thirds. 1 third. 1 third. 3 and 1 third. Do you see that? That's how you can get your answer from this improper fraction. How many times does 3 go into 10? Well, that's three times because that's nine, and then I have one left over. But since we're talking about thirds, it's one third that is left over. Do you get it? Do you see that relationship? What question might you have, Danny? Uh, it's not a question, but I get it because um, I was thinking when you were asking what relationship they have, and I was like, oh, because each for this, for this, um, uh, a word, a question we have to we have to see and for this one um one third like two thirds the third is a whole for this one yes and another one that could be it could be a fifths four yeah fifths is a whole and, Very and good. there's there's five cups and then there's three in each so three plus three plus three 
of is nine, and we add the one third of the remainder. Of the remainder. Makes and so sense, right? We can't use the one that's extra because that has nothing. You just make complete sense out of the whole problem in your head. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's what we like. That's why we like CGI because you start connecting the dots. Like, oh, wait a minute. I get that. I get why that is three and one thirds, mm -hmm. right? So, give me a thumbs up if you did your problem either something similar to Fernando's or to Miley's. Give me a thumbs up if you did something similar. Most of you, yeah, were somewhere here or here. Okay. Question. Real quick, we have a question from somebody here in the front. Go ahead. Oh God, what flavor is the soda? Any flavor that you prefer. All right. This is not boys and girls here. Where I'm going to ask of you. I'm going to try to make a bulletin board out of our work today and put it right at the entrance of the main building. I don't know if you see where we have the way of council bulletin.